In this video, we'll be going over the bottom-up array approach of the code ways. Let's go over the dot process. Let's convert the top-down memorization approach to a bottom-up approach. Now, where do we start? In the memorization approach, we have cached i with the number of ways to decode. This means we can create an array ways to keep track of the number of ways to decode for all indices i. Now we we'll ask ourselves, what are the default values inside the ways array? When i is out of bound, we have successfully found one way to decode the input string. Let's go over the pseudocode. So we're going to create an array ways to keep track of the number of ways for all indices i. Then we're going to iterate through from s.length to 0, denote it as i. If i is equal to as the length, this means i is out of bound, which means we have found one way. So we're going to set ways i to 1. Then we can continue to next iteration. Then we'll first, uh, we'll first want to decode one digit. So, so we're going to create a variable num1 to keep track if we decode one digit, which will be equal to the numeric value of the character at index i. Now we want to also need to decode two characters if it's possible. So we're going to create a variable num2 which will be decoding two characters or two digits. But we are the first check. If i is not at the last index, this means we can decode two digits. So we're going to set num2 to the numeric value um, before that, we're going to uh, we're going to find the two characters C and D from indices I and I plus one. So basically the current character and the next character because we want to decode two characters. And we're going to set num2 to C times 10 plus D. Make sure to convert the characters to a integer first. So for example, we're currently at one. If we're currently at this index, we're going to decode both um, both characters. So we're going to multiply one by ten. So we get ten here, and then we plus the second digit, which is two. So we get twelve. That's what we're that is what we are trying to do here. If i is at the last index, um, we cannot decode two characters. So we're going to just set nums to to zero, basically saying it's invalid. Now we'll first check if nums if num one is in between. 1 to 9. This means it's a valid one digit number. We're going to increment the number of ways by ways i plus 1. Basically, the number of ways we decode one digit. And then if num2 is in between 10 to 26, because 26 is the z, so 26, this means we have a valid two digit number. We're going to increment ways i by i plus 2, the number of ways we decode two digits. And then we can return ways of 0, which is the number of ways to decode the input string if we start at index 0. Let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is O of n, where n is the length of the input array, uh, input string. We visit each index once. And space complexity is also O of n, is our ways array. Ways array. Let's go over the code. So we're first going to create our ways array. Equal to s.length plus 1, because we want to have access to s.length, the index s.length. And we iterate through the indices from s.length to 0, denoted as i. If i is go to s.length, this means we have found 
one possible one possible way to decode. We're gonna set weights i to one, and then we continue to next iteration. Now we want to find the the um if we the digit or the number if we decode one digit. So num one is go to character dot get numeric value of s dot char i and in two int num2, which is the number if we decode two digits. So we'll first check if i is at the last index or not. If i is not, it's not at the last index, we can decode two characters. Times 10 plus. So basically the current index times 10, the digit at the current index times 10 plus the character at the next index. Else we're just going to set it to zero as an invalid value. If num one is between zero, it's between one and nine, is a valid one-digit number. Then we can increment ways by the number of ways if we decode one digit. Then if num two is in between ten and twenty-six, we can decode two digits. So we increment the number of ways if we decode two digits plus two, and then we can return way zero, which is the number of ways if we start from decoding from index zero. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.